I think I was in 8th or 9th grade and uh, my friends were playing hockey and one day I decided to go with them and that's how I started to play hockey with them. And then I realized the importance of sports in your life as well as the team game in your life. Then I went to medical school, finished my med school, went to US with my husband, Bhavi, and he joined University of Chicago for his MBA program. And there, there was a program called Giving Something Back to the Community. And um, I joined the program, which was like you have to go and be with neighborhood underprivileged kids, spend one hour with them. So that's what I did and I realized that volunteer work can achieve so much. And then move on with life, move to Hong Kong with my two boys. And since they were young, I always wanted, I took them to the playground in the evening for two hours. And we, it became a ritual for us that we have to be on the field every day out of the house, doing some activity outside the house, not watching TV or anything. And I wanted them to develop the passion for one sport in their life, which they can enjoy playing as well as watching and talking. Their school had a uh, season for field hockey, tee ball as well as football. So they picked up all three games they were playing. Then one day we decided in 2004 that we'll be moving back to Ahmedabad. And here we are and I'm looking for some opportunity for my kids to continue their passion for sports. And I could not find anything organized for them to go and continue with their passion. They were just 8 and 10 and school said no, they are too young to play. They cannot participate in any sports, in any team games at that age. They have to wait for another 3 and 5 years and I said that's a long time. And by then they will lose the interest, they will lose whatever they have learned in Hong Kong and also their stamina, athletic, they lose out on everything. So I started looking for a ground somewhere and one school in Bhopal offered the ground. So we started playing football. I was coaching them, which was outside Ahmedabad. Sunday morning, only holiday for so many parents and instead of relaxing, they are bringing their kids for an activity in the morning for two hours. Initially, I saw the enthusiasm in the parents, but slowly it started dropping off because they also wanted to take some rest. So the number of students started dropping and I realized it's a team game, so at least you need 22 players to continue. So I said I'll find a ground in, within the city of Ahmedabad where transportation cannot be a hurdle. So I found one ground at Shreya's Foundation and we started coaching there. So now I have to look for a coach because I can't continue. So I found one player from one school in Ahmedabad and he was player himself, never coached and things like that. So I brought him and spoke to him about the coaching. So two boys of my own, two of them, their friends and one another boy. So we had five boys in the beginning was going on like that for six months 
and then my son started saying that, Mommy, this is a team game and we are just five of us. How do we play? We need at least more players. And I was also a bit frustrated. Now what to do? How do I bring more kids? So my coach, he was like so motivated. After every session, he's like, Hum honge kamiya, hum honge kamiya, hum honge kamiya, ek din. So he's singing this song every, after every session and encouraging me, just give some time. And then we started calling some schools teams to come and play with us. So at least we have two teams to compete with each other. And maybe after summer, whatever, God knows what happened, but boys started coming in. So now the problem was how to keep them motivated. That we need some kind of challenge. They were just competing against each other. And after a while, it became boring. So then we decided to launch a tournament. All the tournaments, whatever was happening in Ahmedabad at that time, was either knockout or also uh, only for schools to participate. So if your school is not playing, participating in the game, you can't play. So that's what we created with the help of Syntex Industries. We made a tournament which was for youth, where anyone can participate. You can make your own team, or if you don't have a team, come to us and we'll make a team for you. So there were so many boys outside the school, they started playing football. So that's how uh, Syntex Cup uh, took birth, and this year we are completing the ninth Syntex Cup. Now it's spread it all over Gujarat and all the teams from Gujarat, they play against each other and then champions, they come to Ahmedabad and they play a champions trophy. So, so now the problem was the, to find more coaches because the boys started coming in. So to find the coaches was also another problem because there was no culture of training for football in Ahmedabad. So I had to go and find the players, then stand with them on the ground, teach them because they didn't know how what to speak. All those players were coming from the uh, not so good background because they were footballers first. So I had to teach them how to handle the kids, what kind of language to use with the kids. So I did that on the ground with them. So now we have a uh, few good coaches. Then one day I told my coach, can we start something for under eight? And they were like looking at me, what? And I said, let's start coaching for under eight age group. And because that's a good age to start for them also. So he initially they said no, and I said let's try it out for a three months and see if it works, it works, if it doesn't then there is nothing to lose. And that was the hit program we had uh, from under age. Um, so many boys, they started coming in and playing football and felt real, it felt really good. So after a couple of years, I told one of my coach who was really good with the, who is really good with the kids. And I said, how about under five? And he's like, ma'am, please, we are not here to babysit. We want to teach football. And I said, let's try. It's not football. And they were like, but the size of the football is also like them. How can they play football? And I said, no. And then I showed them a video of my son who was playing in Hong Kong. 
He had no clue where to go. He was just running with the football, scoring goals anywhere, in any goal post. So he said, okay, let's try. And so that's how we started under five. And now, I guess, in Ahmedabad, the whole community from under three, I mean, three years old to anyone is playing football. So, we wanted to then invite some uh, All India Football Federation to do some grassroots course in Ahmedabad so, for coaches, so they can do a better job with the kids. And it took me, Gujarat is nowhere in Indian, I mean, in the radar screen of All India Football Federation. They don't look at Gujarat. So I, it took me at least three, three and a half months to convince them to get all different kind of no objection certificate from everywhere to prove that we have kids and everything. And after three and a half months, they got convinced and they came to Ahmedabad. That was the first time they did some course in Ahmedabad. And after the finishing the course, they said, this is one of the best grassroots academy that I have seen in India. So that was a very good achievement for us. Then one day, I was just going to meet someone in Sanan, from Guma to Sanan. And I was just um, near Godavi Gam, that village. Uh, there was a boy, maybe around 11, 12 years old. And he was crossing the road and I was just going. I almost hit his motorbike, almost. So I decided, I thought he's too young to ride bike. Let me follow him where he is going. So I followed him and I went and reached to a school where he was studying. So I went inside and met the principal and I just spoke to him that, look at this boy, how can you allow such things? So then he gave me so many of his problems about these boys. So I said, can we start football here? And let's try something different to give this boy something to look forward to, something different. So he said, okay, let's do it. And we started coaching there. 7 a.m. in the morning, 15, 20 boys came on a motorbike, 11, 12 years old, with tobacco and pan inside their mouth. And I said, 7 a.m., what is this? You can't have tobacco in your mouth. But that's how they were. So we started coaching them for a year. And after one year, I could make three boys quitting the tobacco. And so that's another way of uh, joining uh, an activity of football helps somewhere else. And that's how we started uh, training underprivileged kids in city also. And with help of one corporate, last year we could send five boys for Gothia Cup in Sweden for a completely different exposure. And one of the boys has joined Kahani now to become a coach as a career path. So there are so many different ways a sports can turn into. Then there was another aspect of sports for kids was sportsmanship that we always believe in and fairness of the game. We had a tournament, local tournament, we were participating for a seven-a-side game. And we were winning with the margin of three goals. The opposite team was opponents were some society players, they just made a team and they were playing for fun. And now they saw three goals and the Kahani team was dominating. So they found, they thought it's, they were becoming disappointed and not having fun. 
that was their purpose. So during the half time, I told my coach, we only need one goal to win and move on. Now we have three goals and the opposite team is getting frustrated and not having fun and that is not our aim. Everybody should be able to enjoy. When we, so I told coach and coach said, okay, what we'll do is now if they score, they come out and no, we will not replace the boys. So now they have a six, five, four boys to play with. Now the opponent team got an opportunity to score and they became happy. So after the game, one boy comes back to me. He came back to me and he said, Manisha Aunty, when some strong team plays against us and they score and they dominate and we have to accept it. But when we go out and do all these things, you don't allow it. And I said, what is your purpose? You wanted to win and move on. But why do you want other team to be disappointed and not enjoy it? Do you like to be in their position when there is a, a strong thing comes in front of you and he said no. So I said exactly, same thing is happening here. So don't uh, try to have fun and also think about others too. And that's how we started giving them the sportsmanship culture to the boys of Kahani. And from Kahani was started in 2006 and it's 2016 today and we were able to uh, change the culture of Andabad. Now there are so many boys playing football and Kahani was called game changer for the city, trendsetter for uh, football uh, Game to Ahmedabad. Also, we got nominated for Ahmedabad Heroes. And uh, most importantly, now so many boys, they also keep calling me football mom. Not just boys, also parents. Sometimes they just call me football mom. And from what did I achieve from my journey? I had my two boys, and now I have almost 10,000 boys and for some more 5, 7,000 boys there is Kahani name stuck in their mind somewhere with some kind of uh, correlation. So that's what I achieved from Kahani so far. Thank you so much.